Blender's Motion Tracker is a very powerful tool with which you can transform your footage from looking something like this to this. In this video I'm going to break down how to use the motion tracking tools in Blender to modify your footage and add CG extensions to your shot. In Blender open a motion tracking workspace and open your footage. I'm using the stock footage I found online. Set the scene frames and prefetch for some smooth playback. Go to the middle of your clip where it's more likely that points are visible both at the beginning and end. If you want to add stuff to a moving object, hold down the D key and then draw an annotation around your subject you want to track. Press detect features and in the options choose inside annotated area for it to just track your subject. If you want to track the whole scene, just keep it as it is. Adjust the other settings so that you have quite a few markers. Now track your footage forward. Then go back to your frame and track it backwards. Go to the solve panel and set a range of keyframes with a good perspective change. Refine focal length and optical center and solve the camera motion. Under cleanup press filter tracks to remove any bad tracks. Solve again, remove additional markers, solve again. A solve error of 0.69 pixels is not bad. Go to your 3D scene and with your camera selected under object constraints, add a camera solver. Select a marker somewhat in the center and press set origin. Now set the origin to the 3D cursor and rotate the camera to align the tracking markers with the scene orientation. Under your camera settings, add a background image and choose your movie clip. You can now add simple geometry to see if it stays on your object. You might have to rotate your camera some more to match the scene orientation. If you want to remove parts of your background clip, you can add a plane behind your model and move it in front of the thing you want to remove when looking through the camera. Give it a new material and add an image texture. With the Node Wrangler add-on active, press Ctrl T to add a mapping and texture coordinate node. Now use the window output and select your movie clip. Set your frames, select auto refresh and plug it into an emission shader. Mix it with a transparent shader. Add a gradient texture set to quadratic sphere using the UVs. For it to be in the center of the plane, add negative 0.5 to your location. Add a color ramp to dial it in. You might have to reset your UVs first. Now use that as the mix factor. You can use the mapping location of the movie clip to sample a different area of your footage. Refine your gradient to have it blend with the rest. If necessary you can do some additional changes to the color to integrate it some more. You can now add all the stuff you want, just make sure to use your tracking markers as reference where stuff should be in 3D space. Otherwise it might not stick to your subject. If you're lazy like me, you can Frankenstein a model from Sketchfab to match your scene. To have your model interact with the footage, you might have to remodel parts of your movie clip and then use that as a shadow catcher so that it will receive shadows. Another tip is to not have an obvious straight line where your footage and CG extensions meet. Try to break that up so that it's harder to find the transition. To match the lighting add a somewhat similar HDRI. You can also add some additional geometry and again use your movie clip with a window output to help light your model. Currently the movie is just an overlay in your camera. You can add it to your render by going to the compositor and add your movie clip. Then just use the alpha over node to combine it with your render. Render everything out as an animation, give it a grade and you might have something like this.